Spyro the Dragon Creepypasta by Angel of the Triad I started up the game as usual, ready to play a little Spyro the Dragon. I started a new game, but it didn't give me the intro cutscene, at least, not the normal one. When I started my new save file, I was instantly greeted with Nasty Nork on his stand in a perfect front view. Then he started talking to me. You think this is a game, don't you? His voice was a lot more of a low growl than they had originally given him. Well then, let's play this little game. Spyro, your time is up. Then it gave me the Adventure Begins screen, and puts me in the usual starting position in Artisans. I walked forward instinctively to rescue the first dragon, but it wasn't there. The stand wasn't even there. Then I jumped off the bridge to the ground a few feet below, wondering why the dragon was not there. When I realized the enemies weren't there either, or the gems. Being somewhat adept to the knowledge of game design, I figured someone hacked in and modified data to get rid of all this stuff. I decided to quit the game and start a new file. Once I selected the quit game option in the menu, the same low growl came up. You cannot escape your fate, Spyro. Spyro, I taunted. How about you say my name if you're so bad? What, nothing? Yeah, I boasted. That's what I thought, hack. So I started a new game, was greeted with the same hacked cutscene, the same homeworld emptiness, and I decided to go and explore to see what else this guy did. That's when I saw him. Nasty Nork, standing across from me, below the bridge, clear as day. His color looked like it got tossed in a freaking blender, which proves it was a mere hack. They weren't able to get his correct textures due to the fact that they don't exist in this level. Your fate is sealed, uttered the low growl. Ooh, I remarked sarcastically. So scary. Then he started running at me. Instead of being frozen in fear like someone who doesn't know how hacking and modifying a game works, I pushed the flame button. He didn't react to it though, so I guess whoever worked on this game made Nasty invincible. So I charged at him. Still nothing. What did I do next? I ran for a portal. As soon as I get through one, guess what happens? The game crashes. I chuckled at it. I popped the game out of my PS2. Hmm, I pondered. What a rare treat I have on my hands. A hacked version of a game designed to give someone a feeling of being in their very own creepypasta story. Even though it was basically unplayable now, I put it back in this case and stored it somewhere for safekeeping. It was my own little collector's item now.